as We are walking into the future with our children. The Prince George Native Friendship Centre facilitated the development of an off-reserve Aboriginal action plan and we did that work and we're really excited about that opportunity as part of our ongoing commitment to urban Aboriginal people in Prince George. We've long recognised that more collaboration is necessary to develop an effective plan that will endure and have the commitment of key players in our community. So key players including urban Aboriginal agencies and organizations, as well as all levels of government, the provincial government, the federal government, and certainly our local government. Hari, Bandara Hunzu. My name is Eileen here. I am from Gajche, which is part of the Tlazden Nations. I am a senior now, but I taught for and develop language curriculum material for 26 years so I can read, write, and speak my language. Must see. Danse, my name is Barb Ward Burkett, and uh, my traditional name is Wahiak Wapatasko uh, in Cree, which is my language and my lineage that translates to Seas Far Woman. You know, when we heard, first heard about the off-reserve Aboriginal Action Plan and I was told that we were one of the five communities, I think that the first thing that came to my mind is that it's time. You know, for so long uh, in our community, in Prince George, uh, we've been working uh, in exclusion. You know, I mean, we know each other as uh, executive directors in the community and as leadership and, and can say hello to each other and, and be at meetings, but that true engagement um, has not really happened in a meaningful way. And so when we got the opportunity to start doing this work, it really was about the timeliness of that. You know, we're going through a time of change. Uh, in our province, in our country, where uh, Aboriginal people are wanting to take their rightful place in our society. And, you know, we've got more and more and more off res uh, Aboriginal people moving off reserve into urban areas. And, uh, you know, there just needs needed to be that opportunity for us to work together on behalf of all people. Uh, you know, in Prince George is a really diverse community in terms of the nations of people. And, uh, you know, all of, all of them seem to find their place to the Friendship Centre at some point in time. And, uh, you know, to be able to provide um, and facilitate personal voice for people is uh, really an important part of this process, I believe. On behalf of the Lately Chief and Council, our elders and our youth, uh, it gives me a great honour to welcome each and every one of you here, all, our, all the chiefs and councils frontline leaders, um, all the hereditary chiefs, male and female chiefs, I welcome you to our territory. Um, we want to uh, acknowledge and honour uh, Frank coming here today and sharing his teachings and his stories and welcoming us to the territory with uh, tobacco, our sacred medicine. That's something that's really, really important that we, we recognise that in our traditional and cultural ways and the gifting of a blanket 
um, which has lots of significance um, to Aboriginal people as well. And uh, it's about that, that uh, layer of protection and that uh, ability to give something back um, to Frank and his family. So I'd like to present this to Frank. Thank you. Uh, the elders that were leading our pipe ceremony this morning are so grateful to start our day in ceremony. Uh, and uh, it's like uh, the strategy, this urban strategy in my mind is uh, like if we could make a decision about how we want it to be for our communities, how would we do it? If we had control over the, over the way we do business, how would we do it? That's exactly how we would do it. We would have way more ceremony. You know, that's how we would conduct ourselves differently. First and foremost, we would invite ceremony into our work. And more food, Leo says, and more food. <laughs> um, it's also um, uh, you know, an amazing role modeling of the diversity of our people now. You know? And part of this whole off-reserve thing is that you know, we have people from our own territories and people from other places, right? And there's a lot of reconciliation that's still going on between us, uh, between people from different First Nations, from mixed blood people, from Métis people, and with non-native people. And you're seeing like the I don't know more and all of this, like the time is, it seems like the time is on us. You know, it's happening, right? People have to talk to each other. We can't do it without each other. We have a perfect storm of problems of economic and environmental and cultural and spiritual, and we just can't do it without each other. When we prayed this yesterday morning, this was right in front of us like this and it came into here today. And there, and I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm gonna do, and I want you to stand up as soon as I say that word, if that's how you feel you are, stand up and let us look at you, all right? Because we had that ceremony this morning, and when we had that ceremony this morning, right away, the Creator was present, because as soon as that sweet grass lights up, and as soon as that drum sings, the Creator, He comes there. Also, many of our ancestors come to be with us. So, when I say one of these seven teachings, Someone stand up, and not just women or children, but everybody, as soon as you hear the honesty, stand up like a warrior. Yell. Love. Respect. Humility. I thought I was just going to get hey. Courage. <laughs> Wisdom. <laughs> okay, now finally the big one. Truth, everybody. Hey! We need to start listening to our, the old ones, the wise ones, the wise ones that are in this room, the sacred people that I've been put on earth for a purpose, to serve. And you are all those people here. You carry a very responsibility. And that's why we need to be, to talk the walk, or walk the talk. But I want to let you know that you are very beautiful people. And never ever call yourself that. You choose your own path. And we all help each other. Just because I'm 75 years old and been there and done that, doesn't make me any better than anybody. I think each and every one of you can come up here and speak eloquently. But anyway, it's, uh, it's an honor for me to be here to be, for my spirit to be connected with yours today. And uh, don't hesitate to, uh, to ask anything. Uh, just to get back into the sort of overall stuff, I've got this as the objective. So the objectives are to improve the range of socioeconomic um, outcomes for off-reserve Aboriginal people. That's one of the overarching sort of big, big uh, objectives. Improving the conditions, programs and services, policies and strategies for off-reserve people. Uh, increased institutional organizational capacity, 
increased awareness and understanding of who off-reserve urban Aboriginal people are, including a better understanding of their history, their culture, and their traditions. Improved relationships and capital through relationship building. That's what I would see this is an important first step in, in doing that. Uh, improved understanding and response to the root causes leading to and healing and reconciliation. We're going to be breaking into four, four stations with strategic uh, questions attached to each. And out of those, my objective today is to improve networks and connections. Uh, greater understanding of the interests, concerns of all parties and organizations relating to the off-reserve population and service providers who work with them. Increased collaboration between the parties. Increased particip participation and input into the next steps and what I call the buy-in. Establishment of a fair, open, inclusive, representative and mutually accountable process by which ORAP is developed. I say discover, dream, design and destiny are what we're here to do today. This is part of our, our work to, uh, to take the lead without waiting for government to tackle issues like the streamlining of services, reducing redu redundancies and competitiveness, increasing cooperation and support, and reducing polarization. So we engage with community members with no predetermined outcomes. We wanted everyone to just come together and to have a personal voice and to really speak about the issues that impact urban Aboriginal people. We facilitated an engagement process that uh, we believe set the stage to explore a collective community potential by tapping into the vast wisdom and history of urban Aboriginal people and the organizations in Prince George that care for their interests and well-being. Uh, we worked in collaboration with the community. We identified ways that we can work together to improve the lives of urban Aboriginal people in Prince George. From these efforts, we've developed a framework for a plan for action. The action plan will be used to promote collaborative strategies to funders. Also, we hope this work will create a legacy of strong relationships and understanding amongst community partners, which are shared values that will assist everyone and extends beyond the implementation of this action plan. We want this to be a process where it's the beginning stages, where we've set the stage to work together without, um, to work together in harmony, I guess, so that, uh, you know, we are all on the same page when it comes to addressing the needs of urban Aboriginal people in Prince George. Well, I think when we started this whole process, what I wanted out of this process more than anything is for all of us to be in one room. At no other time, certainly in the days of the Friendship Centre, have we had the Mayor, the Superintendent of RCMP, um, the Aboriginal District Principal of the School District, Federal and Provincial Government Partners, um, officials from the Métis Nation of BC, elders, lots and lots of elders. And that happened here. We had 70 people in that room and it was a historic moment. All of the work that we're doing as urban Aboriginal people is really work that we're doing on behalf of our children. We're laying the groundwork, we're laying that foundation so that they can experience success in whichever way they define it as.